Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. Another ounce of gold added to the stack, and it celebrates something quite special. Let's explore! Yes, this particular gold coin I had a had on layaway uh, for quite a while. Actually, it was back before the prices really shot up, so I was very fortunate to be able to pay on it from time to time. The uh, local coin shop doesn't like to do that too often, but nonetheless, I was able to kind of uh, get this coin out, and really, really before the prices really took off, but nonetheless, just now doing a video on it, and uh, it's finding a way to try to keep the stack growing um, in a sense, and to try to accumulate a little bit more gold. That's been my goal. I've been sidetracked some this year with some platinum and some silver purchases, but uh, for basically the silver purchases for collecting, uh, but the platinum as well. And uh, so this is a just another example of a, of a way to kind of uh, secure your wealth. I think gold is that ultimate hedge, and this uh, provides an opportunity, I believe, to be able to acquire gold and i think it's uh, quite fascinating especially considering the the perth mint and its history uh for sure because this particular coin just like the super pit coin that i showed before has something kind of very special about it in terms of history especially in terms of uh western australia there so without further ado it is the welcome stranger coin yes indeed there it is quite a stunning piece uh, for sure. There it is. It is uh, very well done, uh, very well um, uh, portrayed there. And this is something that really isn't anything new, uh, although the this is a much sharper image that we saw before. But the Austrian nugget, Australian nugget, is actually a staple of bullion uh, that dates back to at least uh, 19... Um, 89 uh which was the welcome stranger version but also other shapes and nuggets were were being shown uh, on this particular series that by gold corporation uh, which was a company owned by the government of western australia and uh the perth mint is the commonly known trading name hence the p there but this is uh showed the two-tone frost design and we saw that from the uh, 1986 and 1989 the reverse of these coins a picture various australian gold nuggets uh, the 2000 the 1989 proof edition uh featured uh the the welcome stranger uh gold nugget and so 2019 is the second time that we're showing this particular nugget on a coin on a gold coin and it's quite a stunning example and you may recognize the radial lines behind it as they are sort of a newer version of what we'd seen in the next gen series um showing the security features but there were rays uh, emulating from the emanating from the uh welcome stranger nugget in the australian nugget series uh in 1989 but this particular one commemorate the anniversary thereof and so 2019 does it again but I think it's uh, quite fascinating to show this particular piece. And this coin evolved eventually into the, the kangaroo, the Australian kangaroo. Yes, indeed. And uh, so I think it's uh, really cool to see how, had, how it has evolved in terms of a bullion coin. Because for a while, they called the Australian kangaroo coins the nuggets, the Australian nuggets, because that's kind of the evolution of where it went. Uh, but now it's a wholly separate program. And in fact, uh, the Australian Nugget essentially evolved into the, uh, the Kangaroo series that we are so familiar. But this is a wonderfully done piece uh, indeed. And uh, you can see the immense detail on this. And uh, like the Super Pit coin, this also comes in silver, which I did not get. Um, and some part of me doesn't see the point in having a silver coin commemorating a gold nugget unless they should, really, just like the Super Pit coin. I think they could have done it with gold plated from uh, Australia. So I think they could have done a gilded version of it. That would have been quite an attractive silver coin. But uh, this is a beautiful piece. More on the Welcome Stranger 
It was discovered in 1869, and uh, the nugget itself um, was a, sort of a, had a gross weight of 241 pounds 10 ounces. Its trimmed weight was 210 pounds. Um, in other words, and then its net weight was 192 pounds and 11.5 ounces. Um, I guess that's the amount of gold in it, but quite a fascinating uh, uh, gold nugget indeed. Very heavy. Can you imagine finding this out? But it is the largest gold nugget found there in Western Australia. And uh, it is uh, quite an amazing piece indeed. And uh, its actual troy ounce weight is 3,123 troy ounces, 97.14 kilograms. It was a... Uh, Found by prospectors John Deason and Richard Oates on the 5th of February of 1869 in Victoria, Australia. Wow. So it is a, quite an historical nugget indeed. And so there you have it. And uh, it is uh, something else, and it's enshrined in this uh, particular coin here, one ounce of gold. Very cool. And by the way, the effigy, uh, effigy of Queen Elizabeth is, uh, is quite a stunning I think a nice final effigy for the queen. Um, it definitely gives it nice to see the um, the busk sort of go against the the line, which I think is more consistent and a nice way to to showcase the queen there. So there you have it. They did this change starting for 2019, and I think it's very well done. Well, I don't know if they. I think they may have done it and for some coins in 2018 as well, but just a very nice design. So now with this coin, I can say that I'm. I'm getting sort of back on track again and thankfully i got this before the prices really kind of had shot up uh, but my goal is to try to accumulate a bit more gold if i can this year um, to continue on uh, it's going to be much harder now that the prices have uh, shot up some and they've come back a little bit but still there you have it. I but I just think uh, it's quite a stunning piece. I like the history behind it. And the th one good thing about these kind of particular pieces, these better bullion pieces, especially from the Perth Mint, you know you can have almost a hundred percent confidence that you're going to get something of quality and in a capsule with a Perth Mint. So it is a, uh, it is. I do tend to gravitate towards these pieces for sure. And considering it's a sovereign nation and it's very liquid, uh, although I do like the buffaloes, the uh, and uh, but I don't have as many American eagles, and um, uh, I might have to get uh, more uh, gold eagles too, um, just because of the liquidity. But it is a beautiful design, although it's not pure gold. In some ways, for some uh, people who do accumulate these, there everybody's moving more towards the finer gold, and this is um, four nines fine gold which has almost become pretty much the standard these days. In many cases, you see more nine fine, uh, four nines fine gold than three nines fine gold. But there you go. Very, very cool. Welcome, stranger. The, uh, the Australian nugget, an homage to history, because I think this was uh, their first bullion, gold bullion coin made by Gold Corp, uh, the Perth Mint. Uh, very cool. Owned by Western Australia. So there you have it. So post your thoughts on this particular coin and uh, let me know what you are thinking about in terms of gold if you are uh, trying to accumulate more gold this year. Uh, so I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. Kitty does not want to eat gold. <laughs>